do you mind speaking to us just a little bit about why you decided to to give up alcohol in the first place? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I I had a series of jobs and I'm not blaming anyone other than myself, but uh, I was always a very social person. I worked in the city for a number of years. Uh, Drinking was a very normal and still is a very normal part of kind of British uh, culture. And I would often find myself with a drink in my hand, probably most days, most most evenings. Um, and that would uh, occasionally, if not relatively often, lead to, to drinking to excess in some way or another. Um, I never saw it as an enormous problem, to be honest, kind of growing up. And um, and it never got to the point where I thought, you know, it was so serious that I had to, I had to make a radical change. I was just very curious to see um, what what kind of life I could lead if alcohol didn't play a part in it. Also, I was I had a fatherhood impending, so uh, nice. this is about five months before Theodore was born, uh, and and I and I was beginning to think that you know perhaps I was drinking a bit too much. It was a bit regular creeping into creeping into kind of my my routine as such. Um, and so I just, I, I kind of knocked it on the head and it, the, the, the uptick in my life was, uh, just brilliant. What, what kind of stigma Spencer did you face for not drinking or when you maybe first went out and, you know, in the, in the initial stages, um, after you had made that decision, did you get a lot of questions from people? Would they probe you about it or? Some of it was a little bit negative, I suppose, but you know, those perhaps might not be the people that you want to spend your life with. Um, I, I feel that. The, the, the whole stigma surrounding not drinking is still negative, but it's kind of it's aided by the fact that, that there's a negative connotation in, in the name itself. You know, a non-alcoholic beer or a non-alcoholic drink is negative in its name. I just think that the way in which the term is used is negative. Okay. And also, even if you are, you know, a, a highly functioning person who can consume alcohol, good for you. You know, I don't think alcohol necessarily has to be the demon here or the issue it's about control and, and 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 ability to to become what you want to become i suppose you know if you have ambition and you want to achieve your goals and alcohol is getting in the way then drink a bit less mm-hmm.